So we're going to be looking at the Vivitech QME Q3 Plus versus the Pico Genie M550 Plus. The QME was just released in November 2016 and the M550 has just been released uh, this week on December the 1st. The both projectors are ultra portable projectors, very, very small. Uh, for the first time, the QME has also got the battery in there as well. Um, we've got the QME on the left, which is projecting the image underneath, and then the M550 projecting the larger image on the top. So in terms of the overall differences, um, first of all, you can see that the QME Q3 Plus is a very small, very slender, sleek looking device. Um, the Pico Genie M550 Plus um, is a slightly larger projector um, and has a different number of ports on the back. So we've got the VGA, the HDMI, the AVL, the auxiliary, the USB, which is what this is projecting now. And also we've got the wireless dongle keyboard in there as well, as well as the micro SD card slot. On the QME Q3 Plus, we've got the USB AV, and got two USB ports and the micro HDMI. So um, both projectors um, have very good batteries and um, we have a two hour battery on the QME Q3 Plus and a three hour battery on the um, M550 Plus. It's a 8,000 milliamp battery on the QME and 13,500 on the Pico Genie. In terms of speaker performance, the QME has a 2 watt stereo speaker and the M550 has a very respectable 3 watt stereo speaker. Um, both of them quite good speakers, obviously the Pico Genie is the larger unit so you do get um, better sound out of it. Both of them do have the option for wireless um, speakers as well. Um, one of the cool things with the, the new M550 is the wireless portable keyboard and integrated mouse that you get so this makes it really easy for setup um, when you're setting up the projector connecting to Wi-Fi and also just for general navigation and um, using the and uh, using it as an Android TV box or being able to connect to the internet and, and just basically use it like you would use your PC. It still also comes with the normal remote which the old M550 standard model also had and um, that model is actually a, a radio remote control and the keyboard is a wi-fi and that's been connected into the port here on the right hand side and the QME itself has got a, a really nice stylish remote control um, it's one of quite a unique um, projector in that um, the remote actually for the first time actually has a standard um, non-focus wheel on there on the actual unit it's only available on the remote control so we've got the QME on the bottom and the Vivit uh, the Pico Genie at the top um, you'll notice there's a slightly better contrast ratio on the QME on the left but what you'll also find is on the QME on the Pico Genie M550 Plus there is a it's more of a short throw projector so look where the two projectors are actually sat they're both side by side and the image is almost twice the size on the M550 so if you're short on space the M550 is quite handy to have. Obviously if you pull the projectors back you will get much larger size images. So both projectors um, are similar in lumens. The Q3 Plus is 500 lumens and the M550 Plus is 650 lumens. So the, the speakers you can hear are coming out of both devices at the same time so it's quite loud. So here are the slightly different interfaces that you get with the two different projectors. So the QME has an excellent interface, uh, icon driven with some preloaded apps like Netflix, YouTube, Kodi, um, Showbox and so on. 
the difference between the Q3 Plus and the M550 Plus is the M550 Plus has the options to download stuff directly from the Play Store. It does come pre-installed with some apps like uh, Netflix, YouTube as well. Um, and you can obviously put your PowerPoint presentations or um, store up to 8 gig of uh, storage onto the memory of the projector as well. Uh, you can do the same on the QME Q3 Plus 2. It has a, an eHome Media Center um, on there and you can, there's all sorts of different apps you can use to connect to um, iOS. That's one of the big selling points of the M550 Plus is it has um, different apps you can use to connect to both Apple devices such as the AirPin app and, and that's pre-installed so it's click and plug and play when you want to connect to your Apple devices. Um, it's a little bit different on the Q3 Plus. You do have to download the Happy Cast app, um, and um, it's advisable to connect a keyboard to it, um, like we've done with the M550 Plus. It doesn't actually come with the keyboard on the M5 on the Qumi, um, but you can use um, keyboards like this with the wireless dongle to uh, connect, or you can just stick a normal mouse uh, keyboard into the USB ports here.